Hi, I'm Sean McManus from Telecom TV, and I'm here at MWC. I'm joined now by Arnie Chakravarti from Rakuten Symphony and Daryl Jordan-Smith from Wind River. Let me ask you first of all, what's the nature of the relationship between Rakuten Symphony and Wind River? Well, great question. The nature of the relationship between Wind River and Rakuten Symphony is one where Rakuten Symphony is strategically partnering with Wind River to build a, a cloud native storage technology as part of our Wind River operator platform. We're seeing a great market opportunity in doing this because a lot of our telecommunications companies who have deployed operator in the radio access network wanting to use it to run their enterprise as well. And that also allows us to enter into other enterprise-based markets. So we have a highly performant, highly secure cloud-based platform now with all the storage necessary that delivers all the security with a single focus through Wind River by partnering with Rakuten Symphony. Ani. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I totally agree with uh, Daryl. Uh, if you look at the relationship, what we're trying to develop is uh, Wind River has a great studio product, which is a platform product. And as Daryl mentioned, uh, the customers are looking for a very, very secured and a stable uh, st storage platform. And Rakuten Symphony offers a cloud native storage platform, uh, which allows Wind River product to be available on the enterprise market as well as in the telco market, provide the security. And also, we are working together very closely to make sure when the customer gets that product in their hand, it's all certified. Mm technically validated, and has a very clean execution process, if you will. How would you say the collaboration will benefit the customer, Daryl? Well, the collaboration is going to benefit the customer because Wind River, as a company, will be the company that's providing the technology, either directly or through our partners into the marketplace. And we will be opening up new market segments for our business. So moving in the telco world from RAN to core to the enterprise and different other vertical markets as well, where we're actually offering a highly performant, highly secure cloud platform into the marketplace that leverages from our heritage as a company where we actually deliver the most secure systems in aerospace and defense, in medical, industrial, automotive, and other segments. So we're very excited to be able to partner with Rakuten Symphony in delivering that secure, highly performant, scalable storage solution as part of our cloud platform. And Arnie, what's your view on that? See, if you look at uh, Rakuten Symphony, we have two uh, product or two channels to go to market. One is the telecom market, and we are very well present on the enterprise side. So what we are trying to figure out is, as Daryl mentioned, there's quite a lot of synergies which is being developed, if you will, from telecom to enterprise. Uh, what we see is uh, enterprise are moving to edge cloud quite extensively. There's a quite a lot of movement coming from the hyperscalers to edge. People want to basically run their cloud infrastructure on the edge. And we have a very, very efficient storage solution. So we believe that partnering with Wind River in this space allows us to offer an end-to-end -end solution to the customer, number one. And end of the day, the customers are looking for an efficient go-to-market model where they can partner with somebody, ensure they have a very high availability solution, and the most important thing, the least amount of downtime. So we are basically trying to work with Wind River to make sure when the product is released to the market, we are very well validated at the engineering level, we work at the release level, so that when it gets landed at the customer level, it's all pre-validated. That's what we are trying to achieve. Mm. Tell us about the value you see for your businesses. Daryl first. So for me, as I mentioned earlier, is the total addressable market is actually really changing for us. Um, Edge itself, by definition, is AI enabled. And AI requires storage of large amounts of data so you can do the modeling across that. And what we're seeing with our cloud platform is being able to enter into different market segments. So if we look at industrial, we look at energy and nuclear energy, coal power, power plant energy. A lot of these, these areas need to run sovereign, secure cloud environments. And with Rakuten Symphony, we now have the ability to enter those new markets with a complete end-to-end -end solution from the core right out to the edge where traditionally we've been in a very end-to-end -end secure manner, delivering a complete solution for our clients. And Arnie, what value do you see for your business? If you look at, as I've mentioned before, majority of the enterprises right now are basically looking at, uh, you, because the market is changing to AI, they want the processing to be done at the edge level. 
because they want instantaneous decision to be taken, which makes it extremely efficient. So if you look at why is edge coming to the play, there are a couple of market momentum which is happening. One is AI. If the data can be processed at the point of action where the action is happening, it can be extremely efficient. If you take retail, if you take pharmacy, if you take groceries, if you take airports, manufacturing, you don't want the data to, uh, processing to happening at the cloud level because the, by the time the information comes there, the day is gone. The, you want to take the decision right there and there so that the efficiency of the organization increases drastically. And we believe we have the one of the most efficient uh, hyper-converged solution which allows WindRiver and us to work together and provide that solution to the customer. Tell us about the products and services you will offer, Daryl. Well, for in terms of products and services, as we mentioned earlier, things that happen at the edge of the network are very complex and they often happen on a different variety of silicon. And with AI becoming into the market, the opportunity for us to optimize the operating system and the environment for that is going to be paramount to delivering the performance necessary. And with Rakuten Symphony storage solution, we can actually do that at the near edge. You know, so we can actually process and inspect that data at the near edge, leveraging that silicon at the near edge using AI uh, technologies that are freely available. So for us, integration there is going to be a key opportunity for us. Delivering our, our, our service levels is going to be very important to us. So in the telecommunications and industrial space, five or six nines availability over very long life cycles is going to be key for us to be effective and, and capable in that space. And the versatility of the solution with Rakuten Symphony enables us to do that in a very cloud native environment. So it allows us to be very agile. So we'll be able to, to address TCO and low cost uh, options. We'll be able to address different silicon in that environment at the near edge. We'll be able to address uh, the SLAs necessary to be effective there. And we'll be able to provide a complete cloud environment for our customers. Arnie, what can you add? So to add to Daryl's point, what is the biggest challenge for a customer at this point of time who is running an enterprise at the edge? Management of all these individual edge points, right? So what we are trying to do with Wind River is if the deployment can be easily be maintained. So if, let's take an example of a global retailer or a global um, grocery store or a global food chain store or a, even an airport, if you will. The, the, what the customer needs is sitting at one location, they can deploy thousands of locations seamlessly. And you don't want truck roll to happen everywhere because if you do a truck roll, the cost of operations goes pretty high. And it's not the question of day zero. If somebody is deploying in day zero, it's perfectly fine. What happens day one, day two, day three, day four? Somebody has to keep on updating those because these softwares are microservices. They have changing every day. And as Daryl mentioned, there are database changes happening. There is operating system changes happening. There are new releases coming. You have to make the solution efficient and autonomous in some form or fashion, which you can deploy across the board. That's what we are trying to achieve working together and delivering that solution to the customer. What's the unique value that these products and services will bring to the marketplace, Daryl? So from our perspective, uh, building on the points that we made just earlier in terms of being able to orchestrate and articulate ways of actually deploying new software at the edge, as well as in the core data centers itself, we've been able to do that using our conductor technology. And at the moment, we're actually redeploying network infrastructure in tens of thousands of nodes in minutes. Never been able to be done before, to your point about uh, truck rollers. And from our perspective, leveraging that with a storage solution, with the latest security updates, the latest feature updates, doing it in a way that is, is, is built to deliver the solution that's right for the customer. So for example, in the automobile industry, you might want to put, not put out all the over-the-air updates to your cars all at the same time because something's going to break. So you want to have some intelligence being able to do that. So with our conductor technology, in conjunction with uh, Rakuten Symphony's uh, cloud-native storage solution, we are able to do that in a very, very conservative yet predictable and secure manner in scale, in minutes versus weeks, months, or years. Arnie, tell us more about the unique value that your products and services will bring. So if you look at customers, right, if they have some level of existing storage they are working on, if it's a greenfield, it's perfectly fine. So we are starting from scratch. If it's a brownfield area, they are migrating from some old storage to a hyper storage over a period of time. 
what we bring to the table is a very, very efficient hyper-compressed storage and efficiency is on a couple of things. Number one, you need to make sure if there is a failure, the data should come up instantaneously. That's number one. Second is, can I use my existing hardware? Because there, there is, people have invested thousands of millions of money, uh, dollars in this particular aspect, right? We want to make sure the same infrastructure can be used and expanded over a period of time. That's number two. Third one is services. We want to make sure it's seamless service delivery in this process. Fourth is, if any failure happens, as I've started, this is the most important thing. It should be, basically, it should come up instantaneously. And finally, the most important thing secured. We want to make sure the data which is there residing at the edge is secured. Because security is one of the biggest concerns we are dealing in today's context. And we want to make sure data in transit and data in motion is absolutely encrypted at any point of time. That's what we provide in this entire solution. What use cases will the Rakuten Cloud's native storage running on Wind River Cloud Platform address for service providers and their enterprise customers, Daryl? So from my side, um, it, ver it varies end to end. So for example, if you're a service provider, you can use the technology to run your core applications and your enterprise if you're a service provider. In addition to that, service providers are looking actually to provide sovereign cloud environments and that securing that data of everyone that's within that sovereign area or country or yeah, energy plant or post office is paramount. So we're actually looking at this to address those use cases, leveraging on you know our, our, our tagline, if it matters, it runs on Wind River because it has to be secure, it has to be available, it has to be highly performant, and it needs to be tuned to run in those environments. And our heritage of delivering five and six nines availability, which is seconds of downtime and planned downtime in any year, is actually a key opportunity for us to leverage what we're actually good, back, good at from our heritage in our marketplace. And we can't do that without a, a great solution in terms of hyper-converged storage that Rakuten Symphony provide us in that part of the solution. Arnie, tell us more about how your company's two technologies working together will help service providers and their enterprise customers. I think uh, Daryl has mentioned very clearly, but from our perspective, while we are looking to this market, we believe the edge is ubiquitous over a period of time. Whether it's uh, automobile industry, whether it's, you can look at anything. It can be a car, it can be a store, it can be a post office, it can be an airport, you name it, a manufacturing plant, a factory, wherever you're looking at there is edge going to be there. And the reason for that is instantaneous efficiency at the point of decision-making which is happening. So whether, which, whichever industry you look at across the board, I think our solution will be positioned very effectively to deliver that particular uh, outcome, if you will, the customers are looking for. Gentlemen, that's been brilliant. Thank you very much for your time today.